Hi, Joelle, and we are at an exciting port. We're in the last of the senses in the story elements today. Oh, thank goodness. Five senses. We've been through, uh, what have we been through? We've been through sight, smell, sound, taste. Today, we're going to cover touch. Tell us about how we can touch our readers. <laughs> She's funny today. That's awesome. Exactly what you said. We're going to try and make readers feel physically feel what the character is feeling so that as the character is experiencing something so is the reader because that's why we all read let's face it exactly so we're trying to get yeah. that empathy sympathy all that stuff going on there great how do we make a uh, touch better in our writing because it's unique and we're okay. reading not re touching that's right so let me just first say we're coming this last but that doesn't mean it's any less important than the other senses, right? We, we, we want to use all of the story elements and all of the senses throughout our book. You know, and like the other senses, um, touch can do a lot for you in, in helping the reader experience the story world, right? Mm -hmm. So it can make them feel empathy for a character. It can instill fear in the reader. It can make the character and hence the reader long for, some, for something. So touch is a really powerful sense because we all fear certain physical touch and we all love certain physical touch right so it's got that full spectrum of extreme emotion associated with it mm -hmm. yeah of course and if we can think about specific genres we have romance mm -hmm. and we have uh, all kinds of uh, the de detective scary stuff mm -hmm. We have alien kind of fiction stuff, so uh, or sci-fi, I should say. But anyhow, so we're going to implement this. How do we make it better? What do we? What do we got to do? What are we? What are we right. looking for? How are we going? What do we write? Right. So what <laughs> do we write? That's the big question. So with touch, you want it again to be related to the plot. So if if I burn my tongue on coffee, mm. it doesn't really matter. But if if I do that, and because of it, I spit it out and bend over really quickly, right at the moment a sniper was going to shoot me and the bullet misses my head. Okay, that's fine, right? It's a little more exciting, that's maybe fine. a bit coincidental, but it's better than just in some random scene, I burnt my tongue on coffee, mm -hmm. right? So you want to make sure that as with all the senses, it's, it is related to the plot. You, you want to describe it in a way that there's no filtering. So you, you don't want to be saying she felt the hot stove element, mm. right? You want to describe it in some way. And you also want to make sure that you're varying your, the, the different things a reader feels, or sorry, a character feels. And, and one example that comes to mind is you know, you're, you're nauseous over something because you're, you have a lot of anxiety. Mm -hmm. You can't use that too much. The, the, the character's feeling it, but mm -hmm. if it's, if it's repetitive, it loses its impact. Okay. So, you know, her stomach feels bad every time she's anxious about something. It, it gets repetitive and then dull. If you use it and ramp it up that she starts to throw up and then it causes an ulcer and there's some escalating feeling there with the touch. Mm -hmm. That's great. You mentioned the romance genre. You know, basically in a, in a typical romance, when the lovers finally get together, the story's over. So you can't, you, you can have the breakup theme scene at the beginning, mm -hmm. right? You can have them get together, maybe they slept together and then they break up for whatever reason. And there's all these conflicts, but in the end, in the final get together, all of that touch is done in the climax scene. And then the resolution, you don't want to repeat that, right? Mm -hmm. The story's over. And I, I see that a little bit with, with romances sometimes that there'll be a, like a resolution lover scene where there's lots of touch. Mm -hmm. Well, we already saw that in the climax. So now you're thinking, just, you know, close off the loose ends and move on. I'm going to skim this part because I just saw it. Well, maybe it's erotica. So maybe you want to go through it again. No. But that's different, Shania. <laughs> Absolutely. And there's a place for it. And that's, that's exactly the point, right? Is that mm -hmm. know your genre and how to apply this sense in that genre. Exactly. Exactly. So the pitfalls tell us what to avoid. I mean, yeah, you are so, telling us, but 
a little bit. Yeah, but you know, you want to help the reader experience it. So telling me something hurt, mm -hmm. it's super vague. Well, how much did it hurt? Where did it hurt? Why did it hurt? You got to ask these questions. So mm -hmm. if, you know, I, I alluded a little bit earlier. So let's say, you know, I put my hand on an element or Susan, she's my favorite character. I always use Susan. So she, put, she touches an element. Mm -hmm. Susan ripped her hand off the element, her skin bubbled and she felt her knees. Right. So there, I'm not saying it hurt, not using the word hurt. I'm using, okay, her skin bubbled. Like, ooh, that hurt. <laughs> right? You know it. You feel it. You think, yeah, we've all had a little burn. Some mm -hmm. people have had big burns, which is ex it's extremely painful thing. And even a little burn hurts. Mm -hmm. And the reader will know it, especially if her skin bubbled. That's a pretty mm -hmm. awful feeling. So it's, it's, it's really the biggest pitfall I see is, is, is telling the reader it hurt as opposed to using a specific example. Exactly. And I think the description of, of the results is a lot more, like you, you said, rather than trying to explain what happened or even trying to explain how they felt about it. Yep. But what do you see and how does that make you feel? You know, if you see skin bubbling, yep. ugh, you know, yep. or you, I, I know that a writer is effective when I feel, uh, what do I say, almost like I'm sick in my knees. I don't know how to explain it. I go, yep. Yep. oh, you know, and, and that's, when it can evoke that emotion, then you know you're using mm -hmm. it successfully. So um, what can we do today? We're going to go through all of our scenes and we're looking mm -hmm. for ticking off that we've used it, but specifically for touch, because that seems to be the easier or the most, I don't know, it just seems a little bit easier to me to talk about what you're touching and doing. But instead of talking about the action, the... Uh, right. The yep. So you want to make sure when you're going through, you know, again, you want to make sure that when you review your, your touch, you're not being repetitive. Mm. And you know, you're gonna end up with this whole list of all of the five senses together, right? right? So if you're writing a, a romance novel, you want a lot of touch and taste in there, mm -hmm. right? If you're writing a murder mystery, sight is very important because there's a lot of clues, right? So you really want to think about the story you're writing and which of the senses are important to that type of story. And then you want to make sure you have a balance that you're using all of the senses because we all use them every single day. And a reader will want to experience all of them right. together and all of them related to the plot. Exactly. And remember, some people are more sensitive to a specific sense than others. So if you omit one, you have omitted a person who is more audio or more visual mm -hmm. or more sensual. So it is sensual and, you know, t tactile, I guess is a better word. But it's very important. It's super important because not all of us think or feel in the same way. And right. uh, you want to catch everyone, not just the genre people mm -hmm. in general, but make it a personal connection. So that's very good. Excellent. A lot of homework as usual. We're making them work it out. But again, thanks for coming in, walking us through the scenes and how we can use our five senses in the scenes. If you liked what you're hearing, please share it with your friends and let's get some more great writers out there in the world so that we can all be successfully published. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for watching. Try Fictionary Storyteller free for two weeks at fictionary.co. Storyteller will get you one step closer to telling that powerful story you dream of.